Hi, this is Peter. I'm going for a run with some new gear today. I've got the new DJI Action 5 Pro camera. And I'm just going on my first run with it. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. I'm just going to go for a bit of a um, run around the area. It's um, actually Chinese National Day today. Chinese National Holiday. It's, we actually have a week off for it, which is pretty awesome. I think that's about right. What do you think? Should I tilt it up a bit more? Can you see the... I'm looking at... I can see what the camera sees from my phone. Which I wasn't able to do with the um, old GoPro that I had. It was the GoPro Hero 9. Um, my legs are feeling a bit heavy today because I did a faster 20k run yesterday on my treadmill um, while watching a video I made in Barcelona actually which was nice, come on okay I think I should just tilt it up a little bit more the camera but anyway this is I know I've run here before, so I don't want to... I think that's alright, isn't it? I'm going to run like this. I'll check it a little bit longer, a bit later. So I have run here before. I'm going to go in a different way. I'll try not to get hit by this bike. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's National Day. I've got a week off. And um, I might go to Hong Kong tomorrow. I'm not sure. But um, it's pretty hot today. It's about, um, it's got a feels like of about 38. A real temperature of about 34. Uh, yeah, so I think that's not making my legs feel any better either. <laughs> How is it now? I think it's good. Okay. This new camera um, the biggest thing that I wanted was a camera that could do better videos at night. I did a video in Xinyang in Henan province at night and it was terrible. <laughs> I still published it, you might have seen it, but the, um, the night capability of that old GoPro was shockingly bad. This is apparently shockingly good, so I'm looking forward to that. Plus, this has got a, um, I don't know, it's about a three hour battery life, recording it in 4K, which is what I do, and that's amazing, that's more than double what the GoPro could get. I'm not, um, I just bought this yesterday, I didn't get a discount or anything else like that. I just bought it like anybody else, so this is not a review. I'm not a reviewer. Or am I? I don't know. But yeah. Um, and DJI is actually from the city that I'm in. I'm in Shenzhen in China. And uh, DJI are from Shenzhen in China, so I bought it from their flagship store. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I had a look for where the factory was. I couldn't find it. Uh, I am near the Huawei factory and the Foxconn factory, as I've said in other videos. I might even go there. Why don't I do that? But I would have liked to have run past the DJI factory, because most of them are in this area of Shenzhen. I'm in the, um, the Northern Valley, the district is called Longgang. It's kind of Longgang, Longhua. Um, and uh, yeah, most of the electronic manufacturing factories are out here. Past the school. I don't know how far I'll go either. Um, depends how hot I get. This is a new strap too. I normally put the camera on my head. This one's on my body. 
so I can look around for traffic and it's not going to make the you know camera go crazy but then if I want to see something quickly I've got to turn my whole if I want to show you something really quickly I've got to turn my whole body for that <sighs> anyway whatever it'll be fine I think how's it looking so far it's pretty stable I've got it setting on uh, technical jargon right now and I'm not a you know expert with camera and video either so um, but what it seemed like a good setting was ultra wide for running um, 4k 30 frames per second I think I'm not sure about whether that's right or not and um, and also super ultra I don't know which one it's called but like maximum um, stabilization because I'm bouncing around all over the place and of course the the film isn't so there's some really heavy processing going on to make it look smooth for you guys while my body's going up and down everywhere this guy's not watching where he's going all right so I'm going to turn right here and then I'm going to try to turn left as soon as I can and go down towards Huawei and also try to stay out of the sun I think it's more comfortable it's not bad by the way my speed you can probably see my speed because by the time you see this I would have put some um, GPS data on it I'm gonna go I'm not going towards Cloud Park like I did last time I'm going down this way which is much more village area just gotta wait here I'll do a slow sweep over to the traffic you can see all the Chinese flags everywhere in the Chinese national day see up there as well that guy's up for oh and right I can sneak across oh I can go all right this bike's not watching very young guy riding all electric bikes here it's only electric bikes in Shenzhen Qingrang Isha thank you I might get lost in here I don't come in here very often it's a very working class area gotta keep going down I should come out kind of near a McDonald's no there's no shade and there's no wind it's just hot go around here You would call this real China, right? And you would be right. I should get a t-shirt that says wave and say hello. <laughs> Just so that it looks like everybody's super friendly. And they are. It's I mean it's a friendly place, but they're also very shy. A lot of local people, especially to um, foreigners because um it's still pretty rare whoop all right coming out oh there's a supermarket actually why don't i walk through there this is a good thing about <coughs> running you can just stop and go for a walk around i'll just point some things out this cabinet here is all about really strong chinese rice wine it's terrible beer soft drinks what else have we got? Some rice, of course. Some meat. Some more meat. The guy's having a smoke. The butcher. Uh. Oh, there's some. This is not an aquarium. These are fish to eat 
um, because the best way to keep fish meat fresh is to keep it alive. So they have aquariums in their supermarkets with the actual living fish. You buy them um, literally like that. Some vegetable area. And I don't even know what all these are. There's some pears. Ginger, garlic, potatoes, all of the normal stuff. Probably be some dragon fruit here. There's some mangoes. And for some prices, the mangoes are about, uh, not even, oh, how do I work it out? Actually, I, I can't right now. <laughs> I'm not thinking properly. All right, so I'll go back out. Now, keep rounding. Oh, there's durian. Have you heard of durian? It's very controversial food here because it smells really bad to most people, but some, but a lot of Chinese people and other people, I don't mind it, love it. So it's got this kind of either love it or hate it kind of thing. Around here you can get durian pizzas and all sorts of stuff. All right. So far so good. I don't know whether it's demolishing the battery on my phone. My phone's battery might be the weak point, but I don't have to have it going either. I could turn the phone off. I'm just testing out, you know. These, those little trucks, those tra transport trucks, they always used to be really loud, no mufflers, you know, these things now, now they're just like motorbikes, it's all electric now, so they're completely quiet. They're still kind of, uh, I gotta say, a bit annoying, because they don't follow traffic rules and they can get dangerous. By the way, while I'm here, there's a pretty common um, uh, bin area for the people that will be living in all of these. I'm leaning up now. So they'll take their rubbish out and put it, hopefully, into some sort of sorting but in reality they don't really and um, it feels weird not to but um, because the people who uh, work in rubbish collection are on pretty low wages they it's in their interest and they don't mind at all <laughs> it's really weird I, I haven't argued with them but they're like don't worry about it we'll sort it out just put your rubbish in a bin. We're gonna go through it all anyway. That's what they kind of say. So don't waste your time sorting because we will sort it for you. <laughs> Which is so weird. All right, back to the main road now. Haircut. There's a McDonald's I was saying. I'll go past. Just in there, in a very traditional Chinese supermarket. Um, I'm going to cross the road here though. Sorry, I'm wandering around all over the place today because I'm, you know, like I said, just testing out. I'm just taking it easy. It's a very explore no stress exploring um, run today and I will do 20k in total today but I think this run won't be it definitely won't be any more than 10 it's probably going to be more like about five or seven what do you think so far leave a comment this is the Huawei metro station Yes, there's a metro station just for Huawei in Shenzhen, and that's it. And I'm not going to go in there, and I've put myself into a bit of a dead end, so I go around. So you know you're close to Huawei when you're at the Huawei metro station. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn right here. I'm going to go around Foxconn one day too, but not today. I'm not really, that'd be a bigger run. 
to do the two factories it's probably more like about a I don't know 10 or 15k run they're big I'm gonna break traffic laws here no one cares like I said about those um, electric trikes the worst thing about them used to be their noise and their smell now it's that they um they they ride their bikes backwards down the road you know the wrong way to save some time uh, and for a push bike a bicycle to do that you know it's kind of one thing but they're skinny but these trikes you know they're really wide as well so they can be dangerous construction happening in there I'll have a little peek in there actually ah. the guards looking at me suspiciously so they're doing foundations right now they'll pile drive a heap of different um, poles concrete poles reinforced concrete poles into the ground down to the bedrock and then once I've done that that'll be around the perimeter I love watching it I used to be in construction by the way so I'm still interested in how they do it here with the high rise it's probably the international way of doing it really they put a ring of the um, piles into the ground and then once they're there and they're set they dig out the middle and it's underground car parking and they've got this wall of concrete which is the poles that were just driven in and allowed to set and then they start building up from there all right now I'm in Huawei this is the Huawei factory <laughs> believe it or not it's actually not the factory it's the research and development district and it's a district it's like about six um, city blocks they just spread out you can drive through it um, these are roads and um, they're like campuses it's almost like a university campus so that one will be doing one thing that I don't know what it is I don't know exactly where everything is located but there'll be a phone area um, a mobile networks area and all the different things that Huawei make they'll have a building where those R&D people work I don't know how many people work here but it is many thousands but being a holiday right now I mean I virtually no one's here going up a little hill here so I'm going to go straight over this road that's a big one so it's all Huawei everything building that you see and you can't see many because they have planted a lot of trees here so it's like a it's like the whole thing's in a park and there's different can you see that there there's different set of um, architecture styles as well everything from you know modern to I don't know um, different classical era kind of things like that not much in terms of Chinese style though which is a bit weird you know because they're a very Chinese company I would have thought there would have been some of the campus buildings to be in some kind of a you know reimagining of Chinese style am I talking clearly enough I wonder what the audio is like this is literally the first test on everything so I hope the audio is okay too and this is the map of it I'm just up here so right now I think we're here and that's the gate into the pretty big part of it so I'm gonna go down there then I might go that way and then across there there's a shop, coffee shop that you can go to like anybody including me but 
but I mean the style of this one must have been you know like <laughs> that there that must have been like let's build a communist style <laughs> building that's very it's got that very strong you know kind of lines go across but I love that one there it's kind of it right reminds me a little bit of a kind of a Frank Lloyd Wright um, waterfalls if you know that house if you don't you should because it's awesome but I'm gonna go a bit closer to it so you can see what I'm talking about did you hear that truck it was very loud right it's a diesel like a traditional truck most of the um, heavy vehicles here are electric too all buses are electric so it's and, and a lot of construction um, trucks are turning to electric as well so when you hear a diesel one you're, they're very noticeable can you see in there you can't really can you it's all through trees But it's a nice area. It does get this nice big wide footpath. Um, it does get very busy. I don't run here in the evening because there are so many people walking in on bikes and things here. It's not very good for running. Maybe I can't show. I thought there was a driveway that you could see it easier. Anyway, maybe it's up here. How far have I gone? Oh, I'm 4K already. Gee, that was quick. I was thinking, I wasn't paying any attention to it at all. I thought, I hope I'm at least 2K. <laughs> so that's good. So I can start heading back home now then. All right. And I'm not going to show you through the apartment because I've already done that. If you want to see it, um, you can check my channel page and you can see all of the different videos in there. Uh, no, I think I messed up. I think I took the wrong way. I'm lost in Huawei. Because I know I can't get through there either. That's a, like a gated um, campus. I missed the spot where they have the um, coffee shop. Anyway, I'll do it another time. Here is the gate I was looking for. And you can see just the style of the guardhouse even. It's just got that kind of, you know, cool sort of mid 19th, mid 20th century modern style. See there? And that's just a little sample of it. You know, behind there is the, are the, are the main buildings of it. And they retain that same style, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna cross the road before the traffic comes. Of course, it should wait for me anyway. But you'd never, never know if there's gonna be somebody looking at their phone or just not caring about local traffic laws. Shenzhen's a little more progressive. They will find cars that don't give way to pedestrians on pedestrian crossings now, which is a pretty new thing. I think it's only been in the last couple of years, but I still don't trust it. <laughs> I still, I won't cross in front of them unless I've made eye contact with them and know that they know that I'm there. Otherwise I'm just, you know, very stupid to assume. All right, where am I going? Now, that's a connection to an expressway over there. I might go down this hill, run across these cars. I think I can make it. Yep. 
All right. Because I'm aware if I turn right there, it's a bit easier to get back, but I've, I've run that one before. I don't want to, you know, go over the same old ground. If you've watched this far, how long is it? You've done very well. What are we? 25 minutes. Cool. So you might be enjoying it. If you are enjoying it, of course, give it a like. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. And um, if you want to be notified of more um, videos that I'm dropping, um, hit the subscribe button. You know, I'm not supposed to say subscribe for me. I'm supposed to say subscribing is for you. But in reality, it's kind of for both of us. It's good for you to be, to be subscribed so that you get notified. And um, it also helps the channel a lot. So yeah, please do that. I'm not gonna explain the whole story of why I'm doing these. I've said that way too many times than others. And if you're a regular watcher, I'm gonna get in here of my stuff. You'll be so bored of hearing that. So I'll give you a break this time. But next time I'll say it. <laughs> this is the cheaper working class area again. These apartments in here, a little one bedroom too one bedroom studio they're about believe it or not they'll be well under 100 US dollars per month rent like well under it'll be more like about 60 or 70 US dollars per month and they're not bad they got air conditioners they have their own bathroom they'll have a tiny kitchenette but maybe not always a kitchenette but they definitely have bathrooms and air conditioning and you need it in Shenzhen because Shenzhen being next door to Hong Kong is hot weather nine months of the year and then you have three months of summer <laughs> now actually we get about one or two months of cool weather like about 10 degrees Celsius so if you're in the States and then the rest of it's hot there's like 10 months of well, actually, no. One month of really nice weather on either side of winter. Okay. And then there's like, what is it then? Eight months of summer. Two months of beautiful in between weather. And then two months, one or two months of um, kind of cool weather, which I never snow though, of course. All right. I gotta cross diagonally up here. And from here I'm about, uh, I reckon almost two kilometers from home. So I'm gonna make a prediction that I'll be a, a little bit over 7K by the time I get back across here. And then I'll turn across the other one. Oh no, maybe, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm blabbering on. You don't want to know everything that I'm thinking, do you? Okay. I used to live in that building, but it's too small. It's only like 50 square meters for CC and I both. Just too small. The one that we're in now is about 105, which is Perfect. Of course, in Australia, where I'm from, you know, the average size is more like, oh my God, 200 or more. So by those standards, we're living still in a very compact, compact, space efficient, you know, house.
I'm gonna go through the modern area now. Turn left. My GPS will probably go nuts, but the video will still be fine. This is Cloud Park. Cloud Park is a mix of residential space and, um, and commercial offices. It's supposed to have shops here too. It doesn't have a lot of shops. It's got a few. There's a DJI shop here, of course. It's so quiet today. It used to be a craft beer bar there. Oh, it looks like it's still open. But I never go to it because the prices are like, I don't know, they're Western prices. And you can get good beer so cheap in China. I just don't see the point of paying Western prices. Pizza Hut, KFC, Manor Coffee's good. Coffee's expensive. Um, I might go up the escalator. Ching Rang Isha. I've, said, I've translated this before. Ching Rang Isha is a very, very polite way of saying, can you move over? I think you see I'm trying to get through, but in a much more polite way. Okay. Across here. With one second to spare. Now I'll go across here because I know, yes, it's green. That's a BYD taxi, that green one. Electric, of course. There's a lot of electric cars here. There's more electric cars here than in um, the Tianjin Eco City, which is weird to me because, you know, I mean, this is the electric city. Shenzhen is the electric city, but Eco City should also have, you know, only well, mostly electric cars, I think. Turn left. This is like a food court. There's all kinds of food here, from all over China. There's a Hong Kong place. I think there's a Korean place here too. There's a Russian restaurant, which is really unusual. And of course a KFC and a Taco Bell. And that's a Hong Kong um, Cafe de Coral. Where's the Russian place? It's really interesting. Although, hasn't shut down, has it? We've got signs around it. Oh, no, it's gone. We all over. I don't know, here, this one. You get one, please. That's Russian. It's not, it's not cheap, but it's not too bad either. I know it looks shut to me. That sign there doesn't look very healthy, does it? I think that's saying, please rent me. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm not surprised. It's a bit too unusual, I think, for Chinese in there. Isn't enough foreigners living here to support that. Some other areas of Shenzhen, they do have bigger Russian communities and um, they can have Russian restaurants there, but not really here. Apparently, where well, they used to be, I don't know whether it still is, there used to be about 60,000 foreigners living in Shenzhen out of about 15 million people. So it's a small percentage, but 60,000, because they all tend, we all tend to live in 
one kind of area, just like migrants going into any city, have Italian areas, you know, um, Chinese areas, Jewish areas, etc. In every major city, and um, Chinese cities are the same as that, where the foreigners will all kind of hang out in areas where there's more Chinese, more foreigners living. And I'm the same. The, um, there's more foreigners living in this district of um, uh, of Long Island, but obviously not enough still to support that restaurant. It's all uphill now. So I might struggle to talk, but it's at almost 7k. Hope this is good. Hope the camera works well. It better. I mean, it wasn't too expensive, but it's certainly not a cheap one either. Ooh, something died back there. I don't know what, some animal, some animal's body in the garden rotting away. All right, here's my community here, up on the right hand side. It's called Kaiser and there's at least five different Kaiser neighborhoods, I mean Kaiser 3. While I'm doing this run, I'm uploading a uh, run I did in Beijing where there was started in, started in Tiananmen Square and finished I went past the downtown area with the CCTV building and then it looped around and tried to get back to my hotel in the Mongolian Hutongs but the GoPro ran out of battery before I could get there I got 16k but I a film, a video, but um, the run took about 20, so I missed the last 4k, which is really disappointing because it was uh, some of the best areas. If you've been to Beijing, you'll know what I'm talking about. The Hutong areas are really, really cool. I haven't been checking my speed either. I guess it's just my normal. We're about, should be between 4.30, 4 minutes 30 per kilometer and five minutes. But I stopped a few more times this time so the average will be down. I can check. All right. Yeah, my average is over um, five minutes 12 per kilometer. That's right. Okay, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't get a chance to hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment, now is your chance. <laughs> My next one. I'm not really uploading them in any chronological order, so I'm not sure. I can't really say what the next one I'll be uploaded after this one. Maybe a night run. I don't know. But whatever it is, and wherever it is, 
it might be Hong Kong I want to go to Hong Kong and do a run um, but whatever it is and wherever it is thanks again I'll see you in whatever next run it happens to be all right see ya turn it off turn that